What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Buzz Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, the truth has been revealed about undefeated, rising, Mexican, lightweight, superstar, title contender, King Rod, Ryan Garcia, and his grossing power. Because you have all of these fighters. You have undefeated, unified, WBC franchise, WBA, IBF, WBO, Ring Magazine, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Teofimo Lopez. And you have undefeated two-division world champion who simultaneously holds the 130 and 135-pound WBA titles. Four-time world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, also looking to fight Ryan Garcia. And there was even reports that eight-division world champion, legendary, iconic Filipino superstar boxer, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao was looking for a fight with King Rod, Ryan Garcia. You have undefeated WBC, lightweight world champion, superstar boxer, Devin the Dream Haney. He's looking to secure a fight with Ryan Garcia. And you have all of these guys. They're looking to face Ryan Garcia because it's like he represents the money symbol. You have Javante Tank Davis seemingly looking to secure a fight with Ryan Garcia because he represents a quote-unquote money symbol. When you ask about fighters fighting like Ryan Garcia uh, being replaced because we know essentially he pulled out the Tank Davis fight, you have Ryan Garcia being replaced by guys in names like Devin Haney, guys with names like Mr. Gary Russell Jr., who's the longest reigning champion within the sport of boxing, WBC featherweight world champion, superstar boxer, Mr. Gary Russell Jr. And yet you had Calvin Ford, Javante Tank Davis trainer. He says that fight should never happen because he doesn't bring anything to the table. And then you have Calvin Ford says Devin Haney fight shouldn't, is not going to happen because he don't bring anything to the table. Well, they bring the same thing to the table that Ryan Garcia brings. Because now the numbers have come out about the live gate for Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia that did a whopping 350000 live gate. $350,000 at the live gate. That's not even close to Javante Tank Davis' live gate of over a million, uh, a million four. So he did, you could remove a million dollars from his live gate and he still did more money than Ryan Garcia his live gate. Ryan Garcia has proven not to be this massive draw that they portray him as. They, this is all being stated because Ryan Garcia has 8 million Instagram or social media followers. But then if you look at the truth and you actually break down the truth, pun intended, undefeated, unified, WBC, IBF, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer, Earl of Truth Spence Jr., he did the highest gate, the biggest numbers, of anybody in in 2020 or 20 going into 2021. He did the biggest gate and the biggest numbers of anybody of 2020. And he has not even a million inst million social media followers. He has a total of 730 or 750,000 social media followers. So he doesn't even have a million social media followers. And you combine that with uh, his numbers with Danny Garcia, two-division world champion, superstar boxer, Danny Swift Garcia. And Danny Garcia, combined with Errol Spence, they have a combined number of 1.4 million Instagram social media followers. That's nowhere near the number of anybody else, including, that's combined. You combine that. That's, that's not even close to Ryan Garcia's social media followers or Javante Tank Davis, 3 million. Ryan Garcia has 8, Javante Tank Davis has 3. And then you, with Javante Tank Davis, you factor in the fact that Floyd Mayweather has 34 million social media followers. It's not even close. But yet, Errol Spence Jr. is doing bigger numbers. Then if you put Errol Spence Jr. together with Sean Porter... He's still doing bigger numbers, and Sean Porter and Errol Spence combined social media following. They combined for not even a million. They combined for nine hundred 
and something thousand, 950,000 social media followers combined. And yet they still doing bigger numbers, far bigger numbers, not even close than Ryan Garcia. So you combine those numbers. Like I said, Sean Porter and Errol Spence combined don't equal Javante Tank Davis alone social media followers. They stated that Devin Haney doesn't bring anything to the table, yet Devin Haney has more a bigger social media following than Tiafima Lopez, and they stated that they were focused on Tiafima Lopez. Now, I understand that Tiafima Lopez has three big wins in his last three fights. He beat Nakatani, he beat Richie Comey for the IBF, and then he beat three-division world champion, former Olympic two-time gold medalist, former unified lightweight champion, superstar boxer Vasil Lomachenko in his last fight to become unified. So I understand focusing on Tiafima Lopez and what he brings to the table, but he doesn't have a bigger social media following than Devin Haney. So the reason that you had Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby saying they want to secure a fight with Ryan Garcia is because he has a huge following. Well, it's not translating to the sport of boxing. Yes, he has a huge social media following, a lot of casuals, but that's not translating into the sport of boxing because people didn't show up to support him. So during the pandemic, you can't use the pandemic as a as a excuse for why people haven't shown up to support him because these numbers coming from Errol Spence, Javante Tank Davis, and Canelo Alvarez is during the same time the pandemic as he has in the same state that all of these fights took place in Texas. And Javante Tank Davis, Leo Santa Cruz took place in San Antonio, Texas, just like Luke Campbell and Ryan Garcia. So this just goes to show $350,000 live gate is nothing compared to his peers. So for the, I can't understand why everybody's trying to secure a fight with Ryan Garcia because his fan base doesn't translate into the actual sport of boxing as they lead you to believe. Ryan Garcia has proved nothing in the sport of boxing. Ryan Garcia has had one big fight in his career. That was his last fight against Luke Campbell who Luke Campbell was a Olympic gold medalist. Luke Campbell is a, a British superstar boxer who's a title contender. He never won the title, but he's fought for world titles. But he has a whole country in the U UK behind him. And these are still the numbers that came out. And then we have Leonard Ellaby, Mayweather, C Mayweather Promotion CEO. He's letting it be known, well, the, the numbers don't lie. And he's saying, well, you know, uh, Javante Tank Davis is the bigger draw. So then why y'all securing, looking to secure a fight with Ryan Garcia. Why was this even in question if y'all only looking to make the biggest fights? Because if that's the case, then Javante Tank Davis could fight Devin Haney and that could be a huge fight. Javante Tank Davis could fight a more established Gary Russell Jr. And that would be a bigger fight. There's plenty of fights out there that would equal what uh, Javante Tank Davis brings to the table with Ryan Garcia because, see, they lead you to believe that it's a massive fight. You even had Floyd Mayweather and Leonard Ellaby state that Ryan Garcia versus Javante Tank Davis is a bigger fight than undefeated three-division world champion WBO, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer Terrence Bud Crawford versus Errol Spence Jr. And I told you guys that wasn't true. Now you look at the proof is in the pudding. Ryan Garcia is not a big draw within the sport of boxing. He's a big draw outside of the sport. He has branded himself outside of the sport. He has a casual boxing fan following. He has young adults and, and teenagers following him. But that doesn't translate to the sport of boxing, his actual profession. That's a lot of what he does outside of the sport of boxing that he has a lot of following for. Not for what he actually does in the sport of boxing. You guys remember the Under Armour guy? Uh, we must protect this house. That guy from Under Armour. And everybody was familiar with him. Nobody knew he actually played in the NFL. His brand outside of the sport of football was bigger than him actually playing in the NFL. Nobody knew who he was in the NFL. Everybody knew him from the Under Armour commercials. We must protect this house. That's what everybody knew him for. Nobody remembered him for being uh, uh, in actual playing in the NFL. He actually played for the Dallas Cowboys at one point in time. And nobody knew who he was. And so this is what Ryan Garcia, he has branded himself outside of the sport of boxing, but inside of the sport of boxing, it does not translate because the hardcore boxing fans within the sport of boxing, Ryan, don't understand 
why he's held in such high regard because he hasn't proved anything. He His first step up fight, he was floored in the second round. Now he got the stoppage victory in the seventh round, but he hasn't proved anything within the sport of boxing, and he shows a lot of flaws in his game. And so those casual fans that are outside the sport of boxing that he uh, supposedly attracts, that doesn't translate because they have no interest within the sport of boxing. Sport of boxing, especially in the United States, is the seventh biggest sport, if that. You have the NFL, which is the biggest sport. Then you have the NBA, National Basketball Association. That's the second biggest sport. Uh, then you have the MLB, Major League Baseball. That's the third biggest sport. And some might argue that baseball is bigger than basketball. Then you have the National Hockey League. You have the four major sports. Then you have uh, college football, college basketball. Those are They're considered semi-pros because it's uh, um, uh, student athletes. And then you have... You know, tennis, golf, the sport of football at best, I mean, excuse me, the sport of boxing at best is at number seven, the biggest sport here. And so that doesn't translate. Not too many people are interested. If Ryan Garcia was a basketball player, it would translate. He's not. If he was a football player, it would translate. Baseball player would translate. But he's a boxer, and the sport of boxing has hardcore boxing fans, but they don't have too many casual boxing fans. And there's not too many stars within the sport of boxing that can ca can capture the imagination of the casual boxing fans. You have very little. Maybe Oscar De La Hoya, who everybody is, have uh, the comparisons to Ryan Garcia to Oscar De La Hoya. You know, uh, there's a lot of comparisons there, but Oscar De La Hoya was Olympic gold medalist. Oscar De La Hoya was accomplished. Oscar De La Hoya fought any and everybody within the sport of boxing. He was far more accomplished than Ryan Garcia. He was nicknamed the Golden Boy coming out the Olympics because he was an Olympic gold medalist. Ryan Garcia did not win an Olympic gold medal. Floyd Mayweather is another that captured the casual boxing fans outside the sport of boxing. But it took him time to develop into that as well. So I can't understand why you have these fighters like Teofimo Lopez saying that a fight with Ryan Garcia is bigger than a fight with him and Devin Haney for Undisputed, officially for Undisputed. And he's saying, uh, and Bob Arum, legendary promoter, top ranked CEO, who stated that uh, Ryan Garcia is a fight that they would look look for for Teofimo Lopez because that's a big fight. But the numbers don't translate. It's truly not a big fight. They lead you to believe that it's a big fight, but it don't translate. So all his social media followers don't translate into the sport of boxing. And if you truly want to be honest, uh, Devin Haney has more social, bigger social media following than Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford. Ryan Garcia has a bigger social media following than Canelo Alvarez, but it's not close. Who's the bigger draw? Canelo Alvarez, his numbers are somewhat translating because he has a huge social media following as well, but he still didn't surpass Errol Spence Jr. And Errol Spence Jr. doesn't come close to Canelo Alvarez's social media following. Canelo Alvarez has about 7 million uh, social media followers. Errol Spence only doesn't even have a million. So this goes to show that your social media following does not translate into the sport of boxing. So for I, I don't understand that Javante Tank Davis is the far the far the far bigger star than Ryan Garcia, yet they're trying to secure a fight with Ryan Garcia and stating that that would be a huge fight, the biggest fight in the sport of boxing, when in fact it is the polar opposite. Because Ryan Garcia is not going to carry his weight. Yes, he like I stated, he does have a huge social media following. His brand is huge. He just signed a deal with Gatorade. But it's not translating within the sport of boxing. And people are not showing up and spending their hard-earned money to support that fight because not too many people know who he is and he hasn't done anything in the sport of boxing. He hasn't accomplished anything. He's never fought for a world title, nor has he been the world champion. But everybody wants to fight Ryan Garcia. But the proof is in the pudding that the numbers don't translate. $350,000 in, in gate money and revenue. That means nobody showed up to support Ryan Garcia. And you have Errol Spence. that did, uh, uh, He did almost $3 million at Live Gate. You have uh, uh, Canelo Alvarez. They all have smaller social media followings than Ryan Garcia. And they, they lap Ryan Garcia including Javante Tang Davis. So this just goes to show Leo Santa Cruz has 200,000 social media following. Devin Haney has almost a million. So that goes to show that Devin Haney is just as big a star as Leo Santa Cruz if you if we base it off social media. 
So these are fights that need to take place that the hardcore boxing fans want to see. The Devin Haney's versus Javante Tank Davis. Gary Russell versus Javante Tank Davis because those numbers would show up because people will actually show up that are interested within the sport of boxing, not trying to always capture the casual boxing fans. Sometimes you have to please the hardcore boxing fans that stick by you through and through. Not always trying to play to the casual boxing fans to try to get their dollar, but sometimes you have to stay loyal to the fans that are loyal to you. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But the truth has now been revealed about Ryan Garcia being a huge star in the sport of boxing. It's not true. And it, his social media, his huge fan base doesn't translate. But that's all I got for y'all. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire L D B C. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.